what's up we are back with another video and in today's video in my channel which is your channel we have gold yes we have gold right here because we are playing with this baby from huda beauty this is the gold obsession the brand new palette and it is a limited edition so if you want to see how great it this look and what do i think about this palette and do you need it in your life keep on watching today's video guys it is in collaboration with beautiful mimi guys yes i am so excited to be collaborating with her and in case you don't know who mimi is i'm going to put a picture of her right here and she is on a fire guys all right yes she is and in case you don't know who she is and if you are not subscribed to her channel yeah guys then you are definitely missing out you need to go down below and click on her info make sure you go show her some love I enjoy watching her so much she's just extra i'm extra you know i love that her lashes her personality everything about her it is just a bomb.com and i choose to collaborate on this beauty right here because it's just so damn pretty yes and it's just bump like us look at me i just wanted to bring something to you guys like a different i don't know whatever i hope it's not distracting you but guys um mimi is creating a look i'm creating another look and now you have two looks on one palette and we are going to give you a raw raw opinion if we like this baby if we don't like it you're about to find out and i'm also going to be doing some comparisons with some other similar goals that i have so we are about to find out if you need this or if you don't need it so hopefully this right here is reflecting exactly what i wanted to reflect like gold you know and i just hope it's not reflecting a bunch of uh weird stuff <laughs> okay guys so i have this look done right here and we are about to create it in the other eye using this beauty this is a new palette from huda the gold obsession so let's get to work look at this baby yes already digging there look at the packaging guys oh my god this is so pretty in the back of it you're gonna see the instructions and all that it's readable and then inside ta -da! so pretty right oh my god like why do i love gold so much why 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 this is distracting me guys so you know what i'm gonna be grabbing my bk beauty and first we're gonna go into the shade of right here on top it's like a bone color with a little bit of pink undertone and let's see how that looks on the eye i'm gonna be placing it and then blending it okay so you do see it right there but it's not really making that much of a difference on my skin complexion but normally colors like this i like to just apply them on the eye kind of like a base i'm gonna be using my sonia g blending brush and you see it's picking up way more with this brush so let me see if i can show you the true color with this brush let's see it's about the same thing guys so i apply the shade all the way into my brow bone all right so now with the same blending brush from sonia g let's go into this shade and now let's see how that one looks on the eyes there was a little bit of fallout right there i'm not sure if you can see it can you see it okay this one is pigmented though oh yeah oh yeah look how pigmented it looks i like it and i only put a little bit so that's perfect for my bk beauty i'm gonna grab the first shade which is the lightest one and i'm just gonna soften up right here with my brow bone my worker pro from sonia g any packing brush will do or either use this one or my serum from rough let me just show you really quick how they look dry and first i'm going with this shade right here 
And I'm gonna apply that right here on my inner corner. Oh yes, look at all the pigmentation. So I'm bringing this all the way right here by the arch of my nose. So I get a little bit more of the finishing on my eye. And that is exactly how this shade right here looks dry on the eye. So I just wet my brush and don't forget to top it in the back of your hand. And let me pick up a little bit more of this shade. And then now let me show you how it looks. Oh my god, you see way more pigmentation for sure. And it completely changed the texture of the shadow. Mm. all right guys so that's that now i'm going to flip my brush and first i'm going with the metal shade this one right here and then i'm going to top it off with the other gold so something that i did notice guys is it is way easier if you pick it up with your finger instead of a brush but so far that's how it looks with the brush dry so pretty and then now let me just grab a little bit with my finger and let me show you the pigmentation that you get with the finger. Look how pretty. Look at that. That is so stunning, guys. Oh. You see? See? You get way more pigmentation. I'm gonna drag the shadow all the way into my outer V, just like this one. I have that gold all the way in my outer V. And then now let's wet the brush. And, and this is how this baby looks with my brush wet. And now we are going to dig in in this shade. This shade looks lighter than the one in the middle and it looks more yellow. So let's go with the same brush. I'm using my Worker Pro from Sonia G for everything right here. And I'm just gonna top it off. I'm back with my blending brush from Sonia G and I don't have nothing on my uh, brush. I'm just going to try to soften up everything right here by my Bravo. With my blending brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of this shade right here. And I'm going to pat a little bit right there. I'm going with my inner corner from Sigma. And let me show you how this shade right here looks dry on my inner corner. So pretty, it is so reflecting. Now, with the same brush, I'm going into this shade right here, and I'm gonna just place a little bit more right here on my inner corner. Pretty, <laughs> so now I'm gonna grab a little bit more of this shade, and I'm just gonna grab a little bit, like literally, guys, a tiny bit for right here for my bravo. Perfect. Now I have my wing brush from Scat Barn and I've been telling you to pick up this brush and we're going with this brown. And I'm gonna start right here from the outer V of my eye and I'm gonna drag a wing. Okay guys, so we already have the wing and can you please appreciate how perfect that wing comes out with this brush? With the same brush, I'm gonna grab a little more of the brown and I'm just gonna drag it in my lower lash so this is what i have so far and then now i'm going to be using my mark jacob eyeliner and this is on the shade top bras and this is a golden mustery copper shade as you can see but i think it looks so pretty with the look i have it's just gonna give a little pop of a different yellow and I'm gonna put this in my waterline. And then now let me go and put mascara. You put lashes if you want, and I be back. So I already have my mascara on, and I'm using the Huda Beauty mascara. This is an excellent mascara, guys. Oh wow! With the inner corner brush, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this gold right here, and I'm gonna pop it right on the middle of my lower lash, like literally 
A, B. That's it. So how I created this look give me thumbs up if you like this look and then now we are about to get into comparisons so the first palette that came into my mind when I saw this beauty in pictures was this baby right here guys the naked honey this is all gold all type of gold we are getting in this palette and look at my eyes look at this palette you will literally think that i created this look with this all right yes the brown in the huda palette it is a darker it's deeper than this one right here this is the darkest brown that we're getting in the naked honey but the gold yes so look at that swatch that is so pretty guys now let me just compare that to this one right here and let's find out if they're the same the formula is different though guys this formula from the naked honey i find it to be a little bit more dry than the one from huda beauty and look at that there's a big difference right there as you can see this one is the one from the naked honey and this one is the one from the huda pot guys please you can see that the pigmentation right there it's saying a lot the one from Huda, it is way more pigmented, way more reflecting, way more booming in your face. This one is just like, mm, it's whatever. Let me swatch it right here. It's different, guys. Wow. I'm literally like, look at that. And I thought this was good. I'm, I'm, it is good. It's good, but wow haven't look at that oh hell no it doesn't matter like that's it it's not gonna get no more pigmented than that this is what we're gonna get out of the naked honey and this is literally guys one swatch i have it right here on my finger and i'm gonna swatch it right here in front of you so you can see how beautiful it swatch look at that wow hello gold sorry guys this a naked honey 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 it is not as pigmented as this baby from Huda. This gold right here, it is a booming, booming, booming. Right here, it is my extravagance from Marc Jacob. And same thing. I'm going to be comparing it with this gold right there. As you can see. Actually, I'm going to be swatching both of them. Because, because this shade right there in the middle, it does have a shift of like olive and green. Let me swatch those two. Let me see if I can put them side to side. So this one from the Marc Jacob palette, it is way more pigmented than the one from the Naked Honey. But it's not as pigmented as the one from Huda Beauty. As you can see right there, we are getting more reflection on this one than this one. This one right here is the other shade, the one right here on the middle. And this one is the one from the Marc Jacobs palette. This is olive green. This is gold. So, mm -mm, they don't look the same. Now, one more palette that I'm going to pull out. It's this one from... KKW guys and this palette have this gold right there so let me just swatch this gold next to the one from the gold palette and let's see if it have some similarities this one right here from KKW guys it is more powdery and it is like a little bit more matte this one from Huda have like a wet finish but yes the gold from the kkw palette it's the most similar to the one from the hula guys so this is what i was talking about when i was telling you that the gold from the kkw palette it's like a little bit more matte and the huda looks more wet i think you can appreciate it right here a little bit more right here so. it's the one from the kkw palette and this one is the one from the Huda's gold palette. 
You see how this one from Huda looks literally wet, 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 yes. wet. So really quick, I already swatched all the shades right here on my hand. As you can see, those two golds, they are not the same. The one on top is the one in the middle. It's more green, olive green. And the one at the bottom, it is completely gold. That brown, guys, that matte swatched beautiful. Same thing with this one right here. It is matte. And oh my God, look at the reflection that all those shades give. I want to show you something really quick, guys, because I'm surprised with the way that this brown right here swatched. Let me swatch it right where. Look at that. Look how pretty this matte swatched. That was one swipe. If I keep going, look at that. Hello, like that is so freaking beautiful. That's a beautiful matte. Right, babe, so now let me give you my final thoughts on this palette. This little guy right here really made my night. I enjoy playing with it so damn much, guys. It's crazy. I love the packaging. I love all the shades. I love the color story of it. The pigmentation of this palette, it is right on point. I love the wet look that these golds give me. To create this look, it was so freaking easy, guys. Like, this is literally two swipes the most of, of me combining those two golds together, and this is what I got. Look at the pigmentation that I have on my eyes. Look at the reflection that it's going on on my eyelids. And it just looks uh, so freaking wet, guys. It's little, it's convenient for you to just have around for traveling. I love that gold, oh my God. And for the holidays, please, you tell me. So trust me, guys, when it comes to gold, I know how to peep a good gold from a mile away. And this little palette right here, I have to give it an A+. They only have it available at Kurt Beauty. I'm going to be linking the website down below. So all you have to do is just click there and it's gonna take you to the website. You're gonna see the palette right there. It's in their home screen and it's still available. It is like 20 something pounds because have that in mind, it is on pounds, but it is totally worth it guys. Totally, totally, totally worth it. Don't forget to go check out Mimi's. I am dying to see what look she created with the spotlight and I'm totally dying to go see what she thinks about it. So go show her some love and let her know I send you and I see you guys in the next one. Bye.